Hi there, my name is Terry Smith. I'm the owner of Adorable Deco Decor, where we make and sell wreaths and other types of home decor. And I also work toward inspiring others to make their own designs through my Facebook Lives, through my blog at adorabledecodecor.com, and through my wreath making courses. And uh, today I am down here in the workshop working, of course, and I've had a few requests to show how to make bows with a one directional uh, ribbon. And um, so I thought we'd do that today. Actually, one of the requests was actually to show you with the Easy Bow Maker, so we'll be doing that also. So, but, all right, well, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I said the, the first request I got was to do a unidirectional or um, I've heard them called vertical uh, ribbons also. And what we mean by that is that they have a pattern to them that only goes one way, okay? And um, I need to make an order uh, or a bow for an order anyway, so I thought I would go ahead and pull out this red truck ribbon. And as you can see, it has the Merry Christmas, and then of course it has the truck also. And you can't, you know, some people it doesn't bother. Um, I guess um, if you're not neurotic like I am, it wouldn't bother you so much, but it really does bother me when I see trucks and, and print and that upside down. Um, but So we cannot, we, when we're working with that kind of ribbon, if we want all the, the pattern to be uh, viewed correctly, then you can't make it the traditional way, okay? Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that also with the Easy Bow Maker, and I'm going to show you an easy way and a little bit harder way, okay? Okay, so um, like I said, I have to make this rip, this bow actually for a specific order, so I've got to make a, the ribbon in a certain order, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna drop you guys down so you can see exactly what I'm doing, okay? So I'm gonna take you for a ride, okay? Let me pull you back, I'm gonna bring you just a little bit closer. All right, and tighten up the screen, this camera. Oh, Rhea says she can't stand for the ribbon to be upside down either. I know, I don't know. It's like, it's like when I see it, I can't unsee it. That's the only thing I see then. <laughs> so, all right, so like I said, we're gonna start out with the Easy Bow Maker. If you're not familiar with these, these are probably, uh, this little gadget here is probably one of the easiest way, if you have trouble with bows, I think this is probably the easiest way to learn how to make a bow, okay? And you can get these at Hobby Lobby, on Amazon. I'm sure Michaels has them too. I know Deco Exchange carries them as well, okay? All right, and uh, <clears throat> we're gonna make sure that we have plenty of ribbon out, okay? So you're not fighting with your ribbon while you're trying to des design. Okay, and uh, like I said, this is a bow. I already know what I need to make, um, so it needs to be a certain size. It's going to be about a 10-inch bow, meaning there's going to be 5 inches on each side. This is the center of the bow, okay? All right, now I'm going to start out with this buffalo check, and um, it's a, a felted buffalo check. It's a 1.5-inch ribbon, and um, I'm going to make one bow or one bow loop on both sides. Okay, all right, and as you're bringing the, the ribbon down, you're going to bring it vertical, okay? As you're bringing it down, you want it to, you want to twist it and push it down there pretty good, okay? All right, and then I'm going to bring, what I, another thing I like about the, the Easy Bow is that it has these measurements on the side, you know, it has the, an inch, increments going on either side. So it's real easy to make sure that your bow loops are of the same length, okay? All right, so I need about a five inch loop on the bottom here, okay? And again, I'm gonna bring this down vertically and I'm gonna twist it. And by twisting it, that's gonna bring the correct side of the ribbon into view. If, if I didn't twist it, then the the wrong side of the ribbon is going to be on the outside of the bow, okay? All right, so now this time I don't need to twist it though because I'm going to just make the one loop on this side and I'm also going to kind of pinch it here, okay? Because we want the one side, of the, uh, the correct side of the, the um, ribbon to show 
on this tail, okay? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and trim that off, okay? All right, now, here comes the tricky part. Like I said, we cannot make this bow the same way that we typically would, okay? Because it has the truck, it has the Merry Christmas, and it has the truck on it, okay? <clears throat> so what we're gonna do, you know, typically we would put this down here and we would twist like that, okay? We can't do that with this one, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I've got my tail here, and I always like to be a little generous on my tails. My tails, um, this is about, this is about eight inches, okay? But I'm gonna hold this in my hand, okay? You with me there? Hey, Mary and Elizabeth. Okay, now I'm gonna bring this ribbon, I'm just gonna lay it just like this, okay? All right, all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring it right down like this. So I've already made my loop, basically, okay? I'm gonna pinch it, and then I'm gonna slide it down in there, okay? And then I'm gonna adjust it to, pin, you know, I wanna make it about five inches, okay? All right, now, all I have to do, I've got, here's the wrong side of the ribbon, okay? So I'm just gonna bring this right through here and I'm gonna pinch it, okay? All right, so see the truck is right side up and the print is up right side up. Well, it's upside down for you guys. Let me turn it around here for you, okay? See the print is right side up and the truck is right side up, okay? All right, turn it around here. Now, for this ribbon, I need to make four loops and I need to make four tails also, okay? Like I said, I'm making this for a, for a certain design, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna trim this off, okay? And I always like to have tails up above my bow so this, does, this way of making it works out pretty well. So I'll just trim that up here whenever I get it into my design, okay? All right, now we're gonna do the exact same thing, only we're gonna need to go this way, right? Okay? So like I said, I want, I want, four, I want four truck loops, and each time I'm here in the center, I'm pushing this down. Okay, so my bow center is good and tight. Okay, all right, now I'm gonna bring this up here again. This is gonna be another tail. I'm gonna bring it around. I'm gonna make a loop. Try and make it approximately the five inches. Okay, get all pinched. Bring it down here. Okay, we're at five inches, okay? We've got us another tail going out the top. Now we're just gonna bring this right down here, pinch it, okay? Now I'm gonna trim off my tail. Okay? Let me get this things off of here. All right, so that's what we have so far. But see, all the ribbon, all the all the wording is going in the correct, you know, the correct direction. Now, somebody's asked me before about the tails. I don't care if if the you know if the truck's going away or the truck's coming toward. I usually don't care about that. Uh, but it you know it's not upside down. Okay. All right. Can you guys see that? Let me get my finger out of the way. All right, how easy is that, right? Okay, now for this particular bow, I need to put one more loop of the, the buffalo check in the center. Whoops. And then I'll show you another way. All right. And this one, I, I always make my inside loop just a little bit smaller. And that's what I'm gonna do with this. And again, I'm gonna bring this ribbon down vertically because this is single-sided ribbon, 
meaning there's a correct side and there's a wrong side, okay? All right, so I'm gonna bring it down vertically. I'm gonna twist, okay? I need to hammer in my, my loops there, or my pegs, they're getting a little bit loose. All right, I'm gonna make this one about four inches. My other ones were about five inches. I'm gonna make this one about four inches. I'm gonna bring it down vertically. When I get down to the center, <clears throat> I'm gonna twist, okay? Make sure my loops are about right. All right, and then we've got the wrong side. We have the right side of the ribbon. Now, since I'm just gonna do one loop, then I'm not gonna to have to twist it here. Okay, and again, there's my four inch markers right down here. Okay. All right, so then I'm gonna trim this off. Actually, I don't want a real long tail of that one. Okay, now to, to secure this, you can either use a zip tie or a pipe cleaner or um, something like that, but we need some way to secure the, the bottom, right? Or the, secure the center, I mean. And uh, so I'm gonna lift this up. Now this part right here, always make sure you've got all of your bow loops, okay? Because it's di really difficult to get it all back together the right way without completely starting over if you miss the bottom loops. And I've done that before, that's why I'm saying that, okay? Now I'm putting this bow in a swag, and an evergreen swag, so I'm using this pipe cleaner that looks like evergreen. I love to use these around Christmas time, and I actually found these at Walmart last night. I know Dollar Trees has them also, and of course you can order them online as well. But um, yeah, I could have used a pipe cleaner or a zip tie. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna run this, I'm showing you on top, but I'm gonna go down below, but I'm just gonna run this diagonally through those through those um, pegs, okay? But I'm gonna do it underneath, okay? Bring it down through there, and then raise up my bow slowly so that I make sure that I don't lose my loops. Bring this one around the top, okay? Now here's the bottom here. We've got both sides of the pipe cleaner. And I'm gonna twist it, not very tightly yet though, okay? All right, now if you used a, um, a zip tie, um, then you would probably want to cover this with something like, um, I like to put little things like uh, Christmas ornaments and that in the middle of my bows, but I've got, I'm putting this on an evergreen swag and I typically will put some evergreen into my bow. So I'm just gonna leave this like this right now, okay? But I'm gonna go ahead and get all my bow loops the way I want them. Just go around here like this. Make sure that, I'm gonna kinda swap these diagonal. I wanna make sure that the buffalo check is also visible, okay? Okay, all right, once I'm happy with it, then I'll go ahead and tighten it down, okay? All right, so how simple was that, all right? And then of course, once I get this into my design, then I'll trim these tails. I, like I said, I always make them a little longer than I want to, or than I, than I expect I might need, um, and then trim them down because it's always easier to trim them down than to have to add more, okay? All right, but wasn't that simple? Okay, all right. All right, now let me show you another way, and I've done it this way too, okay? This bow I'm gonna make for my shop, so I'm gonna make this a little bit differently. Let me decide what I wanna do here, what I do with all my ribbons. Actually, there it is. Okay, I want to put the, the bottom layer as this buffalo check. We're still going to use the truck ribbon, though, because I'm just going to show you a different way to make that um, direct, unidirectional ribbon work, okay? All right, and again, we're going to get out plenty of ribbon. And my tails on this one, I'm going to make about 14 inches, 
This is just going to be a bow to sell, okay? Bows are a hot seller in my shop. In my, in my I'm talking about in my um, my uh, craft booth that's at, at Bender's Village here. <laughs> okay, I don't really post too many in my Etsy shop. All right, I'm going to make this one just a little bit bigger. It's going to be about five and a half inches on both sides. And again, this is one directional ribbon, so I'm twisting when I go in down to the bottom, okay? And again, we're gonna make it about five and a half inches. Okay, twisting every time I go down there. I'm gonna make four loops, two loops on each side of this buffalo check ribbon. One thing I, else I like about the Easy Bow Maker is that you can see the bow as you're making it. So, you know, a lot of times you make a bow and you don't know until afterwards that the ribbons don't look good together or something like that. Um, with the Easy Bow, you can see it right away. You know exactly what you got. Okay, and that's about... Let me make sure that these are all even there. There we go. Okay. Get these all separated out here. Okay, and again, I'm pushing down, pushing down in that center. Okay. All right, I'm going to trim this off. All right, now I'm going to use the red truck ribbon. And I'm gonna, this time I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna use this ribbon, I'm gonna do it just like I normally would if it, if it didn't have this pattern on it, okay? All right, so let me get plenty of ribbon out here. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna hammer these down real quick, cover your ears, because it's gonna be loud. I need to glue these in. They get loose and you know, then you fuss with them and it's just not a good good thing. Okay, I'm going to turn this upside down here. Okay. All right. Now, I've got my tail here. Again, I'm going to make it about 14 inches. Okay? And I'm going to make it just like I typically would make a bow, okay? So I know that this ribbon, this truck is going to be upside down, as will be the, the words, okay? All right. I'm going to make this, these loops just a little bit smaller. And I'm just going to do two loops of this one, one on each side, okay? All right, but see how the truck is upside down on one side? Okay, all right, let me trim that off. Actually, you know what, this might look better with two loops of that. Let me do that. I'm going to make another two loops. And again, that's one thing I like about this. You can look at the bow and you can say whether you're going to like it or not. Okay, this one, I'm going to bring a tail up here. And again, I'm going to twist it just like normal. Truck's going to be upside down. On one side, anyway. Okay. Okay. This is going to be the final loop so we don't twist that one. Okay? And I want a short tail on this one. Okay? Alright, now I've got just a plain red canvas ribbon that I want to put here in the center. Alright, this is just a one and a half inch ribbon. And it 
it is also unidirectional. It's probably hard to tell on camera, but it is one-sided. Okay? I said I said unidirectional, but it's not. It's one-sided ribbon. All right, and I'm just going to make one loop on both sides. And I make it pretty small. I'm going to say about let's do about 3 inches probably. Okay? All right, and I think that just adds kind of a finishing touch to the bow. Just putting that little little pop of red right there. Okay? Turn that off. Okay, now this one, I, like I said I'm making this one to sell. So I'm going to bring this up. I'm going to get a zip tie. And I'm going to do it just like the pipe cleaner we did. I'm going to bring it diagonally through here, only under, underneath. And I'm going to slide it around here. And I'm going to secure it. And then I'm going to bring it up to the top. Okay, and you're probably thinking, well, what are you going to do about that truck that's upside down, right? Okay, let me show you some magic here. All right. We're just going to twist it. Okay. Now, I do, I do not have my zip tie tightened down, though, right now. Or if I was using a pipe cleaner, it's not tightened down. Okay. All right. How easy is that? Okay. Now, I'm just going to tighten this up. Okay, and I forgot to get any rustic wire. I need to get a little rustic wire cut off here. This is what I use to finish my bows that I'm just making to sell. It's rustic wire. Okay, and um, I have about 18 inches there. Don't want to be stingy. Okay, now I'm just going to turn this, slide it underneath of this zip tie here. Okay, all right, and then I'm going to make sure I'm happy with everything, but see how easy that was, making all, all the letterings going the correct way, okay, the lettering and the truck. Now I'm going to tighten down, once I'm happy with where what my bow looks like, then I'm going to tighten this down, okay, all right, now we still have that zip tie there that's visible in the center. But the key, the t key to doing the, the bow this way is you've got to twist it and turn it before you tighten that down. Okay? But like I said, we still have that zip tie there, so we need to do something about that. And I think I'm going to bring some of this buffalo check and bring it over the center here. I'm just going to cut me a strip about, I don't know, 8 to 10 inches or so. I'm going to fold it in half. And then just cover up that zip tie. Okay? Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and um, finish up my bow loop or my bow tails. I'm going to get these guys in back if, I, if they cooperate. There we go. And um, I like to dovetail everything if I can. And to dovetail, we're just bringing the two wired edges together and then cutting upward at an angle. 
resulting in this V shape. Okay? I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay? I'm going to do that to all the ribbons. Alright, oh, and I forgot this tail up here. Actually, two tails. And I, on purpose, don't trim my ribbon tails evenly. I usually do, uh, stagger them just a little bit. I usually don't like to stagger them quite that much, though. Let me trim this back just a hair. I just like them kind of nat natural looking. Okay, so there we go. All right. Um, you do have to be careful because sometimes you can you can make the side you twist. You can make it a small. Okay, I'm gonna bring you guys back up now so I can see you. But um, you can make this you know the side that you twist. It, you can make it too small where then you've got a lopsided ribbon or lopsided bow. So keep that in mind too. So you might want to add just a little bit to that side. You know you're going to have to twist. So all right. Well, you guys have a great weekend and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.